The major story here says appeal court sacks Zamfara governor, others rerun. Appeal court sacks Zamfara governor, others rerun. Declares March the 18th, Guba poll inconclusive. Uh, Maradun Bernin Mergaji Bukuyum electorate to vote again. The APC, through uh, the former governor, had challenged that election, saying about 98,506 votes in Maradon were not counted, uh, and uh, the courts have now decided that uh, that election be held again, and that will be coming up sometime soon. For more details, you can look through the pages of the First News newspaper. And PDP to now liability to democracy, says APC. Appeal court judgment remain calm. Kanu tells residents there will be knowing their fate today as suspected terrorist uh, prosecution resumes in two weeks. The Justice Minister is speaking. Now, Kanu Guba, appeal court decides Friday, which is today. Bankruptcy claim disclose what you inherited, Ubi tells federal government. Insecurity, service trips, IGP Shan Senate summons. Governor Adilike defies court, suspends uh, Oshun chief charge. All right. Insecurity has reduced under Tinubu. Uh, the National Security Advisor, Nuhuri Badu, is speaking there. IGP gives uh, 613 deceased officers' families 2.2 billion naira. All the details of these stories on the front page of the First News newspaper. Now we move to the front page of the Daily Trust, still talking about the appeal court sacking of Zamfara governor, ordering a rerun in three local government areas. Kanu, Kanu Bobuchi governor's new fate today. Panic, foodstuff buying in Kanu over fear of violence as a result of the outcome of uh, today's judgment. Uh, police won against wild jubilation in Bochi. Now, dollars, dollar hits uh, 1,105 at official market. Garden egg vendor defiles nine-year-old orphan in Kano. A sad story there. Now, strike importers incurred 90,000 daily damage on cargoes. And uh, 613 families of deceased police officers get 2.2 billion uh, naira. By also Imo Kogipo's vote buying intimidation disturbing the peace committee is speaking on this bandits kill mother newborn others in sakoto a sad story there to the nigerian tribune this story is still featuring prominently talking about the governorship election anxiety in kanu plateau as court others rerun in zamfara three local governments affected and uh, 322 bodies are not discovered in graveside in anambra truth commission is speaking uh, 80 year old woman dies in Lagos building collapse. Uh, sad one there. Insecurity, we inherited tough periods, said Zirubadu at editor's conference. Why we are against borrowing to finance 2024 budget, the finance minister is saying. Uh, Southeast, not central, gets three new Supreme Court justices each as FJSC nominates XCJ and sound 21 others for elevation. All of the details of these stories you'll find on the front page of the Nigerian Tribune. To the uh, leadership uh, newspaper now, Supreme Court Judicial Council to screen 22 justices. Only 11 will join Apex Court bench, North Central, Southeast, top with 12 nominees. One killed as police, shites clash in Kaduna. <clears throat> Labor strike, importers bemoan surcharge. Uh, we mentioned that earlier that they incurred about 90,000 Naira each day. Now, appeal court declares Zamfara poll inconclusive. Bala Yusuf, no fate today. 2024 budget can't be funded with borrowing. Ed speaking there to business day now. Soaring prices leave Nigerians caught between food and medicine. Naira falls 9.8% in three months on single FX regime. All the details of the stories on the front page of the business day. We we'll move now to the Punch newspaper. Be patient, inherited crisis won't disappear overnight. Nuhu Ribadu, as the NSA is speaking. Be patient, inherited crisis won't disappear overnight. NSA appeals to Nigerians, say Tinubu inherited poor economy and security. Exposed deficit inherited from Buhari, be transparent. 
uh, will be challenges the federal government as the Labour Party presidential candidate speaking there. Guinea Bissau at 50, Tinubu pledges support for West Africa's democracy. And uh, Oshima Sebli suspends uh, Chief Judge Adelike appoints replacement. Forex, federal government blames low export earnings, plans uh, diversification. All right, some of the stories you find on the front page of the Punch newspaper. And uh, we move now to the Nation newspaper. The major story here, Ribadu, uh, that's the NSA government winning battle against oil theft banditry. Our production has risen to 1.7 uh, barrels per day. And the uh, Senate invites service chiefs for briefing. Now, 31 ex-school members passed confidence votes in Akiri Dulu to commission abstain, return to Akure now, group tells governor. Federal government can't rely on loans to fund 2024 budget, says minister. you find that story on the top corner there. Adelike suspends CJ as the chief justice despite court order. 2023 poll, why INEC experienced internal sabotage, uh, Sultan Hills. Uh, marking day for building mosque in Ibadan. These are some of the stories you find on the front page of the Nation newspaper. Ibrahim. Yes, sir. <clears throat> the first with me here is the Nigeria News Direct. Telcos frustrated as banks. USSD debt rises to 200 billion naira. Operators threaten to block debtor banks with draw services. Uh, and above the mustard, Adelike suspends Oshun CJ as court grants embattled judge injunction order. How concessions, waivers granted by Buhari made us lose 1.3 trillion naira, as according to customs. Maida gets Senate nod as NCC EVC. Uh, also, address political interference, weak economic institutions to harness corporate governance in public private sectors. Olushegun. Aganga. Uh, moving on to this Nigeria, Buhari's policies suffocated private sector growth. Report, last eight years, difficult for Nigerians. You see that on page two of uh, this Nigeria. Uh, appeal court declares Zamfara poll, Zamfara Guba polls inconclusive, orders fresh election in three local government's areas. Page 12, Nara hits record low against US dollar in official market. Now it's on page 21. Adelike defies court order, suspends CJ. 2024 budget, Senate queries, uh, queries MDA's poor revenue projections, says external interventions may push country to deficit financing. And on the air of the newspaper, FCTA partners with Dewu on investments, honors 31 retired directors for outstanding services. You can read that up on page 7 of this Nigerian newspaper.